If you know what you want, you know what you want. And when it comes to online dating websites, there's going to be one out there that will accommodate you. Hey, welcome to Online for Love, your number one resource for dating by the numbers. Today we're going to be going over an online dating website for swingers called Cassidy. Now right off the bat, if this doesn't sound like the perfect online dating website for you, no worries, we've got a great solution for you and that's by taking our online dating website quiz. This quiz will ask you some personal preference questions as to what you're looking for in an online dating experience. And at the end of that quiz, it'll let you know exactly what the perfect online dating website is for you personally. If you wanna take that quiz, you can do so by jumping down into the description down below or by clicking on the link that's popping up above my head right here. And after you've taken that quiz, be sure to check out our deals page. Our deals page hosts multiple different online dating website discounts for multiple different online dating websites. So if you'd like to save yourself some money, who the heck doesn't? Be sure to check out our deals page again in the description down below or by clicking on the link that's popping up above my head right here. Now, in order to make this review a bit easier to comprehend, I've broken it down into these five categories. The first of which being the user demographics, then the ease of use, then the pricing, then the key features, and then the success success rates. So without further ado, let's jump into number one on the list, which is the user demographics. So right off the bat, it's pretty obvious to see who this website is for, and that's for swingers. The site hosts individual males or females, but most of the site is frequented by couples. If you're seeking serious relationships from sites like Mash.com or eHarmony, those websites might be a better choice for you over Cassidy. So let's talk about the user numbers for Cassidy. And it was actually pretty difficult to find the numbers for this website. And I did find multiple sources who did claim multiple things, but they weren't from the horse's mouth, so to say. Certainly, the fact that the website has been in existence since 2006 means that the user base isn't going to be too small, but it's impossible to know exactly. While the exact user numbers are not forthcoming, I was able to track down a gender breakdown split as well as the most popular age ranges of the website. So let's start with the gender split. Now, because this website isn't just a website for single individual accounts, there are actually a couple accounts allowed. So the gender split is actually going to be split into three three different types. So 30% of the users on the website are female, 10% of the users on the website are male, and 60% of the users on the website are couples. In terms of age groups, the most popular age ranges at around 30% are 25 to 34 year olds, and then the next biggest group are those who are aged 35 to 44 years old, which is about 25% of the website. Then the third biggest group coming in at 20% of the website are users who are aged 18 to 24 years old. And then the remaining members of the website who are aged between 45 to 54 years old and the second age group of those who are age 55 years old or older take up 25% of the website. So this is going to bring me onto number two on my list, but before I jump into that, I did want to ask you guys to be sure you are hitting like and subscribe. Seriously, it really does help us out with that YouTube algorithm and it really helps push our video out so that more users can get more information from us here at Online for Love. So we super duper appreciate it. Now this is going to move me onto number two on my list, which is the ease of use. So now that we get a general idea of what Cassidy is all about, and what its user demographics are, let's jump into what the sign-up process and the registration looks like. The registration process is a critical part of any online dating website. Many have a simple process for registration that takes mere minutes to complete, but Cassidy, however, does things a little bit differently than most. That's because as part of the registration process, Cassidy has users fill in every detailed questionnaire related to their sexual desires mostly. You got the chance to skip it if you want to, but it's there for a reason and so are you. So you really should take the time to fill it all in. And it's going to only take a few minutes of your time as well, so it's not like it's gonna take eons. But let's not jump on the gun either. For the start of your profile registration on Cassidy, you'll need to provide the following information a username, a password, your email address, what you are registering on as the site, which means a single male, a single female, or a couple, and who referred you if somebody did actually refer you to the website. From there, you are taken to your profile page to complete the signing up process. This is very comprehensive and includes what you are looking for, which again includes couples or male or female or hookups, a section to describe yourself, a section to describe the type of hookups you are into, a private text section, Section, which you can grant other users access to, and a comprehensive questionnaire as we discussed previously. So if we were to look at the questionnaire, it does actually have a sliding scale answer option for you in order to answer all of these questions. So it's not strictly yes or no. So what does the sliding scale entail? Well, let me go over it. A zero means I don't do that. A one means maybe I will, but not likely. 
Two means sometimes, but it depends. Three means I'm game if you are. Four means I enjoy this a lot. And five means it's essential, absolutely part of my play. As I said, it is very comprehensive and there are a large range of questions to go through. And these questions are pretty to the point. They're really not beating around the bush here. So be prepared for that. So what is it like finding our way around Cassidy? Well, the first thing you're gonna notice is that the site is actually pretty busy and a little intimidating to begin with as well, if I'm being honest. There are lots of menus at the top of the screen, 18 in total, in fact, and some of them double up. A lot of these menus focus on the community side of Cassidy. For example, you will notice a rendezvous, parties, and forum menus. It's here where you can browse to see information for local swinger parties and even advertising for a couple hookups and more. The forums are very active and cover a range of topics. The other menus I feel that are pretty crucial are the My Home menu, and this will take you back to the Cassidy homepage, Mailbox, where you can read any messages you have received on the site and keep a record of those that you have sent, profiles and photos. Here you can search for other users, communities. Communities are split into a range of topics from sexuality to hobbies to music, and you can even start your own. And finally, chat rooms, where you can chat with other users here. There are other menus as well, but you can find out where they lead, and it's really, really exciting extensive. There's a lot of stuff on this website, so I'm honestly not going to go over every little detail. I'm only going to go over what I find is really essential with the website. So this is going to move me on to number three on my list. But before I do that, I did want to ask you guys our question of the day. And my question of the day today is, uh, in regards to this site and many other websites, when you get asked a personal question and even a sexually personal question, are you comfortable answering that online? Let me know in the comments down below. And this is going to move me on to number three on my list, which is the pricing. So when it does come to the pricing on the website, you can actually sign up and browse the website for free. However, there are essential things you cannot do until you sign up for a membership, and that includes communicating with other users and even viewing other users' profiles. Now, there's only one type of membership that you can sign up for. However, they sell it in different times increments. So you can buy it in a one month, a three month, a six month, or a 12 month increment. But what are the prices for those? Let's go over it. For a one month membership, it would cost you $19.95. For a three month membership, it would cost you $45 or $15 per month. For a six month membership, it would cost you $75 or $12.50 per month. And for a 12 month membership, it would cost you $129.95 or $10.82 per month. Now for me, I do think that this website is a niche website. So you're going to see that the prices are going to be a bit more expensive. And I actually do think that these prices are a bit expensive, but because it's a niche dating website, it does uh, come with that expectation that it will be a little bit more expensive than average, which is exactly what it is. But it is important to note that no matter what online dating website you do sign up for, that you should definitely check out our deals page. Our deals page hosts multiple different online dating website discounts for multiple different online dating websites. So if you'd like to save yourself some money, who the heck doesn't, before you sign up for any online dating website, be sure to check out our deals page. So this is gonna move me onto number four on my list, which is the key features of Cassidy. And again, it's really important to note that a lot of these key features you can't really access until you sign up for that premium membership. But let's talk about what a free member can get access to and what capabilities they have on the website. As a free member, you can search for other members and this includes even using the advanced search engine. You can browse swinger events, you can browse club listings and add your own. You can access the Cassidy forums and you can also access the Cassidy community section. There's certainly a good amount of stuff that you can do on this website as a regular user, but if you do actually want to increase your success on this website, I highly recommend that you sign up for a premium membership. So what are the exact features you get as a premium member? Well, the first thing you can do is view profiles. Try as I might as a regular user, I couldn't view any profiles in Cassidy. I tried viewing member profiles, new user profiles, profiles of users that had undergone validation, but none of them worked. As a paying member, that's not going to be a problem for you as you will get access to all user profiles on site and the chance to view them as well as the pictures posted by users. The next premium feature you get when you sign up is the ability to send messages. Once you've found somebody that you would like to get to know a little bit better and then possibly hook up with, you are going to need to message them in order to help facilitate everything. As a member of Cassidy, you can send and receive as many messages as you would like. The next premium feature they have is the ability to use chat rooms. If you'd like to shoot the breeze with other Cassidy users and just have a good old chat, there are a number of chat forums on the site that you can join as a member. From what I could see, however, they weren't always very active, but they were never empty either. And the last feature I want to mention that you can utilize as a premium member is 
actually a bundle of features and it's the ability to send friend requests, flirts, and post statuses. So as a member, you can break the ice with potential hookup by sending them a flirt. Also, you can send other users friend requests and post profile statuses. And that's it really. Now, there aren't really a lot of key member features, but there are other features that are worth mentioning that are accessible no matter what your membership type is. Uh, the first thing I want to mention is Extra. It's for people who are looking to uh, browse different like sex toys and things like that so they can go into the shop and check it out. And they do also have a section that's called Travel. So if you wanted to uh, show your itinerary, so wherever you're going, other users can see that and they could meet you up uh, wherever you are planning to travel to. And of course, there are also club listings and swinger parties that you can browse through as well. And again, that is accessible for both premium and non-paying members. I'm about to jump into the last section on my list, but before I do that, I did want to ask you guys to be sure you are hitting like and subscribe. Seriously, it really does help us out with that YouTube algorithm that pushes our video out so that more users can utilize this information from us here at Online for Love. So this is going to move me onto number five on my list, which is the success rates of this website. Well, first off, when we're talking about success rates, it is really important to know exactly how the website matches you up with other users. And there really is no matchmaking algorithm and you are kind of dedicated to the search engine that's available on the website. So what does that search engine entail? Well, you can look for what people are looking for, and this includes couple, single, male, single, female, and so on. What, what location they might be located in, if they are members or not, their age range, their body type, their sexual preferences, and their play comfort zone. And that's just the basic search. There is also an advanced search that you can utilize, which will show you these extra parameters as well. They include those who have added photos and videos, or both, and those who are new couples, new single females, new single males, and new validated profiles. Now, there are a lot of ways for you to be able to search for other users on this website and potentially match up with them. However, just looking at the website and seeing how clunky it looks, it totally gives me a vibe of like, this is a really outdated website and I'm not really sure how many real people are using this. It definitely looks like a place that would curate a lot of bots and scammers and things along the lines of that. But I could be completely wrong at the same time. I think the best thing to do to see if this website would be successful for you is to go sign up for it. It's completely free to do that. You don't have to pay a membership, provide any information like that or anything. And then if you decide after browsing the website that the potential matches are worth it for you, then you can go ahead and sign up for that premium membership. However, if you find that this website probably isn't the best one for you, don't worry, I got a great solution for you, and that's by taking our online dating website quiz. This quiz will ask you some personal preference questions as to what you're looking for in an online dating experience. And at the end of that quiz, it'll let you know exactly what the perfect online dating website is for you personally. Now, after you've taken that quiz, be sure to check out our deals page. Our deals page hosts multiple different online dating website discounts for multiple different online dating websites. So if you'd like to save yourself some money, who the heck doesn't, be sure to check out our deals page. Now, with that being said, if you guys wanna see some more videos from us, be sure to check out one of the two that popping up on my left and right here. And I did want to ask you guys again, our question of the day, which was, do you feel comfortable putting out personal information on websites specifically towards sexuality stuff? Let me know in the comments down below. And that being said, if you guys could leave a like and subscribe, super duper appreciate it. And I'll catch you guys here next time on Online for Love. See ya.